I will start by sort of laying out a landscape uh, with respect to the pandemic and our approach on controlling it as either uh, officers within industry or leaders across the sector of technology and data standards, uh, et cetera. And we, we started with numerous technologies that focused on location monitoring, indoor intelligence, uh, tracking, quarantine management, symptoms management, and solutions of the like. And the question came as to whether those come top down from countries looking at border entry, and how much do I as uh, someone driving privacy for a company or driving safety for an organization need to worry about onboarding those types of technologies for my audience of employees as well as visitors. And if you speak to specific sectors, uh, we have certain audiences in certain sectors that have potentially even more risk for onboarding on some technologies like that, uh, particularly in healthcare, of course. Uh, we have the senior facilities and uh, senior care that were struck pretty hard by COVID. They have a degree of uh, mobile staff uh, that come in and out. There's family members and visitors that come in and out, patients, of course, and residents themselves, as well as employees. In the school or education space, we have a population that seasonally comes in and out and looking to do classes in person. We have staff, of course, there as well. And so your unique case in terms of what you're trying to, to target and control for may uh, lend you to look at different aspects of COVID response technologies that are out there, some that may be new and opportunistic in the last year, and others that might be part of emergency response or health threat networks or solutions that have been on the scene for, for potentially decades. But one thing certain is that we've had to sort of reevaluate our footprint for data um, in onboarding these tools and what does it mean to have something called a passport for a vaccination or for the first six months of this, it was all about a vaccination, a test certification. And I think I'll, it'll come down to just two things for me as to what's the source and issuer of that information and how far and prevalent can it be distributed and for what purposes back to our common core of privacy definitions. But 